Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So I recently came across this small modern house uh, on the internet and I thought about making a video about modeling this house in Revit and that's what we are going to do in this video. But before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses and uh, to download my project files, you can check out my Patreon. All the links are in the description. Now let's get started so here i'm in revit and first i'm going to create walls here so let's select wall from here and i'm going to draw a 15 by 35 feet rectangle here let's select this wall make it 15 feet and on this side i want to make uh, 35 feet let's drag it to the center perfect now I'm going to select this wall and just move it here 10 feet and just press CS on the keyboard to create similar and draw another wall here so we got something like this now we can create the floor let's select the floor and just draw a rectangle from this corner to this one uh, I'm just going to move this line uh, 15 feet perfect let's click finish and go to 3d and i think we need to change the height of these walls so just tap select these walls and just change the unconnected height to 10 feet perfect now uh, i want to edit this wall so let's select this and click edit profile and go to the left view and we can just uh, draw a line uh, at 9 feet and just draw an angled line here like so then use TR and just trim this and delete this line and click finish perfect let's mirror this wall to that side so let's go back to level 2 and delete this wall and I'm just going to select this and press DM on the keyboard to mirror from here perfect let's go back to 3d view again and uh, we want to change this wall to storefront so let's select that and we'll select a uh, storefront from this drop down perfect just ignore this warning now we can just go to left view and move this wall uh, press mv on the keyboard and just move it to the edge of this uh, wall here so this is what we got here so we have finished uh, working on the ground floor we only need to add a door here which we'll do later on now let's move on to the first floor so for that first i'm going to uh, copy this floor to level two so let's select that copy to clipboard and then a uh, paste align to selected levels and just select level two perfect let's select this storefront and just attach it uh, to this floor here click delete elements and we want to repeat that with these walls as well just select these two then attach them to the floor perfect I will just quickly change the visual uh, settings here now let's work on the first floor so let's go to level 2 and uh, I'm going to draw a wall here let's select the wall from here and uh, I will change the location line to finish face exterior and let's create a wall from here just hit space bar to flip it and go back to 3d and uh, let's change the height of this wall to 14 feet perfect We'll repeat the same process here again first we will edit this wall then we'll just mirror it to the other side so let's select this edit profile go to left view and let's draw an angle line here as well uh, from nine feet like so and i'm going to uh, trim this line delete this one and let's delete this line as well and just drag this line here like so just click remove constraints so we got this kind of shape here let's click finish 
and go back to level 2 and just mirror this wall press dm on the keyboard to mirror it from the middle like so so we got this kind of shape here now uh, to create the slanted uh, window here we are going to use curtain wall so let's go back to level 2 again and we'll draw a curtain wall here so let's select wall from here then select curtain wall from this drop down curtain wall 1 and the height should be the same 14 feet and just draw a curtain wall here let's go to 3d so we got our curtain wall here now i'm going to select this wall and change the cross section from vertical to slanted you see then the things change here but we got this angle uh, from vertical parameter here so to get the angle uh, of this wall we need to go to uh, the elevation so let's uh, we want to go to this elevation here so we can see that here we need to go to west let's go to the west elevation and uh, go to modify select the angled dimension here angular dimension and select the angular dimension here and we'll just check the angle here hit tab key a couple of times to select this face so we got this 32.74 angle uh, we need to put this in the angle uh, parameter here let's put that 32.74 hit enter okay it's we need to add a negative value here i will just add minus here hit enter click delete dimensions there you go if i go to 3d you see you got this this angled window here let's add mullions to this curtain wall but before that i think we should create the roof so for that we want uh, we want to use roof by extrusion let's go to left view and go to architecture select roof by extrusion from this drop down and this dialog box pops up you just need to select pick a plane and just pick the face of this wall just click and hit ok and we will draw a line here or we can use pick lines and just pick the edge of this wall here we can just drag this a little bit we will use void extrusion to clean this edge later on now let's click finish and you see we got something like this now uh, on this corner we can fix it by changing the rafter cut here click this drop down and select to cut plumb there you go we got this perfect uh, cut here now uh, on this side uh, we can use void extrusion later on to cut this for now let's leave it like this and select this curtain wall and just attach it to this roof there you go now we can add mullions to this uh, curtain wall so let's select mullion from here and we'll use this uh, two and a half inch by five inch rectangular and select all grid lines here and just pick the grid line here there you go it's looking a lot better now uh, i think we are almost done with modeling this uh, simple yet very beautiful modern house we only need to clean up the edges here this one and this one for that we can use a wide extrusion uh, let's go to component here click this drop down and select model in place and i'm going to select generic models click ok and let's click ok again and go to left view and let's create the void extrusion we want to set the work plane select pick a plane and pick the face here and then we can use pick lines and pick this one and pick this and then we can just draw uh, something like this just draw a profile use tr and just trim this line here we only want to cut this part and on this side also we will repeat the same just create a profile here then use tr and i will just make it straight it's looking a bit weird so let's click finish and we can just click outside and then select this void again and we'll get these two handles just use them to drag it uh, just drag this extrusion through the roof here as well as this floor now we can use cut geometry 
and make sure multiple cut is checked select this void then this roof and then this floor there you go got this perfect uh, edge here let's click finish model and I think we are done modeling this but uh, let's quickly add the doors so first I want to add a curtain wall door here so for that we need to load a new door family go to insert load family just look for the doors here and here we have curtain wall doors I want to use this single door let's load this in and just tap select this panel just hover over the edge here hit tab key to select the panel unpin it and then uh, select the door family that we have just loaded perfect we'll just uh, flip it hit spacebar to flip this and then we'll remove this mullion just unpin it and delete now let's add the door on this side so let's go back to level 2 and I'm going to go to architecture and use this default uh, Revit door family let's add that here and then we can create the stairs here so let's select stair from here and I'm going to select precast stair we'll just increase the riser height to 8 inches and uh, the tread depth to 10 inches let's click ok and we'll create the stairs from here let's change the location line to right and just uh, complete the stairs I will create a section box here perfect so we got the stairs here now we can uh, just edit this floor select that edit boundary go to level uh, level 1 and we'll create an opening here for the stairs let's click finish and uh, click delete elements I think they, we need to uh, redesign the curtain wall now uh, we got the opening here for the stairs let's select this railing just hit tab key to select the railing and edit path and go to level 2 and we'll just continue uh, this railing here let's continue that on this side and close just join that to the wall here and we'll just leave it uh, to each gap click finish and let's go back to 3d again and we got our stairs here perfect let's quickly uh, remove the mullions here hit tab key to select the grid line unpin it and delete and then uh, select this curtain wall and change the height to 8 feet maybe just put 8 feet here and then we can uh, you see nothing is changed here the reason for that is this curtain wall is attached with the floor here so we need to detach that with this curtain wall selected you can just click here detach top or base then select this floor click delete elements perfect we can uh, add a wall here let's go back to level 1 and we'll just create a wall just select this one press CS on the keyboard and create a wall from here to here and if I go to 3d you see we got our wall here let's just uh, go to level 2 and I will just move the wall until here and attach this wall to the floor here let's select that attach and select this uh, floor perfect now I will just uh, turn off the section box and let's create the topography here so let's go to site plan and then I'm going to go to massing and site and select uh, topo surface here let's select that and let's add the points I'm going to start uh, adding the points at negative one foot 
let's start from here and then we can just make it minus 5 feet and we'll add some more points here Now I'm going to make it minus 10 feet or maybe we can make it minus 8 and add some more points here and then we can just make it minus 10 feet and just continue uh, adding the points. Let's go to 3D. So we got something like this think it's looking perfect we want to add supports here so let's click finish and then we will add some columns here so let's go back to uh, level one and let's go to architecture and select architectural column and then i'm going to create a six inch by six inch column click ok and put six inches here and six inches uh, width click ok and let's add three columns here or maybe four use align tool and just align uh, with the floor on this side as well here as well align on both sides and let's align this as well perfect let's equally divide these columns so for that we need to create dimensions press d i on the keyboard and we'll create dimension like this and then we can select the dimension and click uh, this little eq button to equally divide them delete this dimension okay let's go back to 3d so we got our columns here but I, uh, it's created on uh, level one so we need to change the base offset of these columns let's put uh, minus 10 feet and then we want to change the top level to level one so it will start from here and let's put the thickness of this floor is one foot so we need to put that here in the top offset minus one foot there you go so we have created this cool looking uh, small modern house in Revit in the next part we will apply the materials and add the components and uh, create the rendering in Enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses and to download this project file along with other 60 plus uh, Revit project files you can check out my Patreon the link is in the description and yeah I will see you guys in the next video